All right, so you're looking to get started flipping some Amazon return pallets or just return pallets in general, but you don't know how to get started or where to get started. Well, look no further because today I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to get started flipping Amazon return pallets or just return pallets in general. All right, so as far as my experience doing it, I have flipped about seven pallets so far and I've been doing it for about the past month and a half. So I like to, I'd like to say I know what I'm doing, so I'm going to teach you everything I know so far and how to get started. So without further ado, let's get started all right so step number one is going to be finding someone that sells these pallets now these people are going to be called pallet liquidators so what we're going to do is go on facebook and type in on the search bar on facebook pallet liquidation and that's it hit enter after that and then what should pop up is going to be a bunch of facebook groups and generally these facebook groups are going to be run by people that sell pallets so if i do this on my phone right here as you can see the first option that comes up is going to be mid michigan pallet liquidation which is actually the pallet liquidator that i go to to get my pallets <laughs> so if i click on his profile as you can see, he is located in Bay City, Michigan. And there we go. I found a spot to go buy pallets. As simple as that. Now, another way you can do it is by going to Google and just typing in pallet liquidation near me. And you might be able to find someone by doing that. But the reason that I like using Facebook is if you find a pallet liquidator that has a Facebook group, generally on their Facebook group, they're going to post, you know, when they get, you know, new shipments of pallets, uh, what kind of pallets they just got in and stuff like that. And just keep you updated on when they get new pallets. And that's really helpful because if a pallet liquidator gets a really good, like, low of pallets in they're gonna solve really fast so you want to get there as soon as possible all right so now that we found a spot to go buy some pallets now we got to go buy some pallets so you can either wait for the pallet liquidator that you choose to post when they get a new uh, shipment of pallets in or most of the time they're gonna have pallets sitting in a warehouse that you can go choose from so yeah do whichever one you want to do and most of the time these pallets are gonna cost roughly four to six hundred dollars six hundred dollars uh, sometimes they're cheaper sometimes they're more expensive so but also sometimes on their Facebook group they'll post the price of the pallets when they get a new shipment in so you can also go off that as well now before you go looking at these pallets there's a few things you should know the first thing is is that the items on these pallets are either going to be wrapped in some clear cellophane or they're going to be put in a big cardboard box that's on a pallet now if it's wrapped in clear cellophane you can look through the cellophane and see like you know brand names on boxes or sometimes the boxes will tell you what's in the box sometimes or another thing you could do and i wish i had a picture to show you this but i don't so i'm going to describe it as best as i can but on some of these boxes boxes there's going to be a number that looks like this it's going to be a g then three numbers and then a dash then there's going to be a g and then like six or seven more numbers after that second g now what you can do is go on google and type in that second g number not the first one in the dash but the second g number after that so yeah type that number in and sometimes what comes up is actually what's in that box not all the time but most of the time it does work so yeah now if the items on the pallet are in a really big cardboard box sometimes i found you know occasionally the people that own these pallets will not want you to look in the boxes um that's been kind of a rare case but sometimes they don't want you to but most of the time they'll let you look in the boxes and actually the one that i go to to get my pallets the one that i mentioned before he'll actually get you a step stool that you can look so that you can look in the pallets because sometimes the boxes are really tall so yeah but like i said before if you're when you're looking in these pallets see if you can find either brand names or sometimes the boxes will say what's in the box or once again you can look for that g number um either way just try and do as much analyzing on the pallet as possible to figure out what's in it like a really good example of this is i was looking in a, in a pallet one time uh and i found a box that said tide we and i looked up that brand name and i found out that they make a really nice hunting blind so um i knew that there was a super nice hunting blind in here so just do that for as many products as you can to figure out if it's a good pallet or not and then once you find a pallet that you want um you're gonna want to have it loaded on your truck or trailer or if you wanted to you can have them put the pallet uh, next to your car and if you want to you can take all the boxes out of the pallet and then put them in your car if you wanted to if you don't have a truck or a trailer so there you go you are halfway through this journey you have successfully found a pallet liquidator using facebook and then you've went and gone and bought your first pallet hopefully doing as much analyzing and research on that pallet as you can so now that you've bought this pallet we're going to take it on home and then simply take everything off the pallet you know and put it in your garage maybe or something like that or if it's not going to rain you can leave it outside and then we're going to take everything out of those boxes and store them in our garage now sometimes the items that you get out of those boxes are going to be items that you have to put together like sometimes we'll get like some desks or some like bookshelves or tables or, or stuff like that and you'll have to put those together but after that we can list everything on facebook marketplace or ebay so facebook marketplace is the one that i usually use i've never used ebay to sell anything for um that i've gotten out of pallets and yeah i'm not going to talk too much about how to use Facebook Marketplace or how to list stuff on there or eBay because it's not that difficult and 
it's i just feel like i have to talk about it you know what i'm saying but actually hold on i take that back i'm going to quickly go over what my facebook marketplace listings look like so what i do is i take a few pictures of the item that i have like that i have with me you know what i'm saying i take a few pictures of it and then what i also do is i take a screenshot of the actual like product listing from either amazon or wherever you can find the product i'll take a screenshot of the product listing so they can see you know what the ratings are and what the msrp price is you know what i'm saying then as for like the name of the listing or like the caption or whatever you want to call it it would just be like the whatever the product is along with the price of it whatever or like the price i'm listing it at and then also the retail price for it as well and that's it simple as that and uh yeah now <laughs> let's get back to the video uh pricing is one thing that i'm going to talk about because you might be wondering how much i should list these products for and what you should do is look the products up on amazon or on google and just try and find the msrp price for the product that you're trying to list i personally do half of the msrp price so I, if it's a hundred hundred dollar product i'll usually list it for 50 but there are some exceptions if it's a, a product that i have to build i will usually list it for 60 or 70 percent of the uh, msrp price because i had to do all the building you know what i'm saying or if the product is slightly damaged i'll go for like 40 percent of the msrp price um so yeah there's my pricing guide for you and uh yeah once you have everything listed on facebook marketplace you're basically at the finish line you need to just keep on selling the stuff and just taking in all that money and i do suggest keeping a nice list of everything that you've sold and how much you've sold it for just to you know keep track of how much money these pallets are making you and uh yeah if you're interested in how much money i've made off flipping pallets i would suggest watching the video that should be on screen somewhere but uh yeah this was my guide on how to get started on flipping amazon pallets and i really 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 hope it was helpful for you and i appreciate you watching this video and yeah take it easy